Chris Logan here with another Walkthrough Wednesday. I'm here with the um, 2022 Passport 268BH. I'll just show you a few things about it. Um, this one comes with a power tongue jack, as well as electric stabilizers throughout. Um, large baggage door there with slam latch. And nice of all is the mag magnet there that holds that in place. A little bit down the side, you can see that we've got a full awning runs most of the length of the, of the trailer. LED lights underneath that. Um, this right here, if you want to set a little table or something out here, you could put um, a television on there. Um, here's the coax cable goes and plug it in right there. I'll, talking about TV, it does have the latest and greatest WineGuard digital antenna with a LTE booster and Wi-Fi booster as well, so you can get good reception inside and out. A small little um, outside kitchen or camp kitchen. You know, stoves there. Some people say, you know, I like the griddle better. Um, all you need to do is just put one of those cast iron griddles on that, and then you've got a, a griddle as well. Um, let me show you something here. Some people say I, I would like to have a sink out here. It, it doesn't, but it's got a port to put a put a water hose on there, like an outside shower, like on the other side. So you can, you know, spray your pans down or flare ups, anything like that. So, um, well, when I'm out here, you know, this is a bunkhouse, obviously a top or bunk room house, top and bottom bunks. There are windows in each of those bunks. Let's go inside, Greer. Okay, now we're on the inside of this, um, this 268 Passport bunk room. Um, come on in here, Greer, take a look at that bed. Um, one thing Passport does in all their coaches is that is a true 60 by 80 queen bed that's what you'd have if you had a queen bed at home you can see there's great storage throughout up there charging ports and um, electrical outlets there you've got a um, cabinet over there one thing I like to point out is these don't go all the way down you can get your elbows in there roll around in there in the bed <clears throat> some nice doors for a little bit of privacy. Um, let's look down here, it's more of the, um, the storage. There's not many places on the, on the passport where there isn't um, storage of some sort, no wasted space, even back around here behind the telly. So you could put something there. Here we are in the kitchen, a lot of workspace, Got that fancy faucet. Farm style sink, cutting board, there's the oven. Um, one thing I'd say about the ovens, if you hadn't had have an upgraded camper for a while, is they do have an igniter on them now, so you don't have to stick your head in there and possibly blow it off when you're lighting it. This is a nice low voltage electric refrigerator. They seem to stay colder, longer, and faster. Uh, we talked about the storage again. Look at that great pot and pan drawer. Little extender here. So a good little kitchen in this, this, this trailer itself. So nice couch right there. That is a trifold sleeper. So if you wanted to pull that out and open it up. Huge U-shaped dinette so you can get several people on there. You could even put a chair back here. That comes into a bed as well. Again, tons and tons of storage. Okay, we talked about the bunks. These are nice double over double bunks. So as, as um, kids get bigger or adults want to sleep on there, there is some room. Most of the passport bunk houses, that bed flips up and there's a door right there for easy access. You could throw coolers in there, bikes, whatever gear you wanted and then are outside put that back down nice size bathroom and shower adequate I would say um, again we're in the 2022 passport 268 BH one other thing I forgot to say all Keystone products in 2022 they come standard with the 200 
watt solar panel on it and a 15 amp charge controller on it. So keep your battery charged um, virtually f for forever and um, just a nice addition. Thanks again. Thank you.